This is one of the next ones to do, a Rover mower. That's an engine change on that one. When I bought it, they couldn't start it. I managed to get it running okay because I changed the carb to the modern type carb with the with the primer bulb on. But when it's hot, it doesn't seem to want to start very well. So I'm decided I'm going to put a more modern engine on it. So hopefully that all goes to plan, and that shouldn't be a very long job. So that's one of the next projects to do. I don't know if you can see that in there underneath this little mud, but look at the size of that spider. If I can move it. Here's a monster. There he is. If I can... There he goes. He's a big spider. About as big as we get in the UK. This is underneath the rover mower. I decided to start taking the engine off. And it must have been his home for a while. So I'll go and let him go. It's the day after Christmas now. And I managed on Christmas Eve to get the engine off the rover. And that's the engine that's going to go on it. The problem I have is I can't get the blade boss off of the, the rover engine, the one I took off of it. It's really stuck. I might have to take some of my dad's to heat it up to get it off. But I'm going to have one more try this morning and see if I can get it done. So I'll show you if I can. I'm working on trying to remove this boss from this ro old rover engine, Briggs and Stratton engine, and that's what I've had to do. I've found an old an old boss. I'll give it plenty of WD-40. I'm trying to push it up so then I can clean the bottom to get it out. The only thing I've got to be careful is I don't want to damage the bolt or snap, snap the bolt off. But I have got it moved. Where are we? I have got it moving now. I don't know how good you I can have got it moving it. now. That was the right level at the bottom, so I have pushed it up a bit. I'll see if I can push up a little bit higher to get the keyway out and then try to bring it back with the drawer. I've got it moved on a little bit further, so I'm not going to go no further than that at the moment. I'm going to see if I can draw it off now with the drawer and see if I can pop it out. But we'll have to see. How it goes. I tried to pull it off with a puller, but I had to revert back to the first way of doing it by pushing it on to get. You can see there, it's rusty. I need to get it on enough to get the keyway out. But what I had to do is change and use that different boss. It's bigger in there, so I can just go over there and push it off. So, so I'm getting there. Just gotta find some washers to put in so the bolt can push it because the bolt's quite long, it's getting stuck in the end of the shaft. So, if I space it with some washers first, just give me a little bit more. Just uh, I'm about probably two thirds of the way through the keyway pushing it back, so I'm not far off now. I now have pushed it back far enough to keyway out, which I've already done. So, what I shall do now is sand that around to give it make that really clean then try and draw it off. So it's got good movement in it. Should have good movement in it now. I've moved it quite a way on so should have cleaned it up a bit. And that's what was probably stopping a lot of it coming out. So they are pretty stuck in there. So I'll see if I can just get it off now. This is where I'm at. I've managed to pull it off to there but it is really stuck on there really really hard but what it keeps doing is I put the pressure on and all of a sudden it will jolt and move a little bit. It's not sliding off smoothly, but I am getting there. So that's how I've done it. I've got the free jaw puller on there, like that. So I'll see if I can finish and get it off totally now.
go. It's all off now. As you can see, now it is off. So there it is. So my job now is to strip the engine off the other rusty mower and get it ready for the Rover. So I shall carry on with the video once I get the engine off of that. Here we are, the engine is all on now. I did have a bit of a problem because the shaft wasn't long enough on this engine so I had to use a different boss in the end. So I didn't use the one I had to get off but at least I've got that spare as a spare now so there it is, that's back together. I've just got to connect the throttle cable make sure everything's tight and then I can give it a try. I probably should change the diaphragm on the carb so I don't know how long the engine's been standing but that can be the last job. And so that one's nearly done. So it's all more or less done now. I'll be back with a demonstration of it when I have it running. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.